You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship, and you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 9,000 units is a small price. 9,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay! So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. <sighs> I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a stash <laughs> hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it, now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the DAS quarantine zone access code. A likely story. Why don't you go bother someone else? I intend to. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree! Do not think that I do not know what you are up to. Your rodent co-conspirator has clearly- So are you- You cannot hide behind this door forever! Drax, let it go! Nobody's stashing units! We shall see! Thanks for telling him. So, you here to talk or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? You're not still upset, are you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey, remember that time on Conlar? With the Badoon and that really hot Ascavarian girl? <laughs> yeah, her buddies would have spaced your stupid humey butt if me and Groot hadn't busted in. I had things under control, mostly. Ha! <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we saved you. Name one other time you saved me. Contraxia, Nowhere, Parametar, Ceres, Contraxia again, Malador... Okay, 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 so I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. Sure as Scud wouldn't be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But admit it, you like being a guardian of the galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. If you'd rather I turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better. If you want to make it up to me, find a way to pay this flark and fine.
One fine tech upgrade, hot and fresh. Here you go. I doubt even you could break that. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? You appear to be 8,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly... Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on, you've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always She's holding out on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will star sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic uh, mountains yeah, of Kakaran. Real mature. We will seek to best the I infamous mean, At least I got an idea. I am good. I am He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each? Peter? Well, I think Groot's more convincing, in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. Seriously flying into that. 
You say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? Uh, why don't we ever get missions on nice, warm, dry planets? I don't go into your room and touch your stuff, Quill. What? You hacked my visor and added a scoreboard to it while I was sleeping. Eh, that was different. I improved it. Also, did anyone tell you that you snore? I thought Drax was bad, but wow. Quill, you should really get that checked. You sound like a tour. I don't snore that loud. <laughs> yeah, okay. So what is this thing anyway? It kind of looks like a metal face hugger. That is clearly a spinal control unit. Yes, right, of course, a spinal control thingy. Back on Half-World, Kree scientists used these to keep us super soldiers in line. Uh, they'd press a big, fun red button and zap! Instant obedience. Holy crap. Rocket. What exactly did the Kree do to you? They ripped me apart and rebuilt me over and over and over again until I became this half-finished thing they could mold and shape and control. Oh, Rocket, I had no idea. I mean, I knew the Kree Empire was desperate, but... Do you know what it's like to lose all control of your body? To be in constant pain, trapped inside yourself, and able to stop the horrible things you're doing? <laughs> that control unit made sure I did what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> A neat, furry little machine of death. Didn't take long to figure out I was better off not fighting it. Okay, then let's shoot this thing out the airlock. Have a little middle finger salute ceremony to the bastards who built it. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'm ready to let go of that part of me yet. Maybe one day. Are you 100% sure you want to keep it? What if it... Controls me? Eh, I decided a long time ago, Quill, that I would never let anyone control me again. As far as I'm concerned, this is just another useful piece of junk and a few bad memories. How many of you super soldiers were there on Half-World? When the Kree started, a hundred, maybe. By the time I escaped, just me and Lila. She was the first one not to die from the control unit. And Lila is also a... What? A raccoon? Or not a raccoon? You gotta understand. She was afraid of them, and the control unit made sure we stayed in line. That I stayed in line. 
Oh, that sounds... awful. I can't imagine. So, I did what I do best. I found a way to overload the control unit. When the Blueskins let us out of our cage, kaboom! <laughs> I blew a hole into the side of the lab. What well, we didn't know... What I didn't know was that the lab was protected by sentry bots. We got to the security fence and Lila covered me while I hacked the modulator frequency and uh, as soon as it opened, she pushed me through the door. I heard a die quill. Oh, the rocket. Doesn't matter now. Past is the past, right? And that thing, it's just a reminder. I'm sorry you had to go through all that rocket. For real. I hope you all like walking because this is gonna take a while. Well, you think I'm glad we landed this far from the fortress? Cheer up, Rodent. The rain will be refreshing. Rain is sky trash. I am Groot. Calm down yourself. You love rain, you Flark and Plant. idea. How about we find some backwater world and go off grid for a while? Novacore ain't gonna chase us forever. It worked for me in the past. <laughs> Quill? Backwater worlds are like his natural environment. The guy's terrorist for Clark. Hey, I heard that. Ugh, <laughs> oh, you're right. Drax wouldn't hide from the cops. It would be cowardly and dishonorable. Yep, there we go. I still believe it's a mistake to sell the tree. Ha! <laughs> yeah, that's right. Maybe you're the mistake, Musclehead. That does not make sense. Maybe Groot misspoke. You could say he, uh... uh... Made a mistake. Hey, Groot. You think I got time to build a sonic umbrella? Ah, oh, come on, it's only gonna take a tick. I am Groot. Shoot, you're right. We ain't got no roto adhesive left. I thought you'd be thrilled to finally set foot on Seknarf 9, Drax, but you're awfully composed. In other circumstances, I would be thrilled. But we will humiliate ourselves by trying to sell sentient lumber to Lady Hellbender. Don't she like lumber? What about the legend of her mighty battle axe? She possesses a number of weapons. And not all axes are meant to cut down trees. The lady won't hurt you either way, crew. I'll make sure of that. Eh, it looks broken. Maybe Rocket can fix it. Groot! Hey, buddy. I was just, uh, checking to see if everything was okay. And it is. Okay. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it, or something. I am Groot. That way I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on stuff without, you know... Rocket always filtering it. I am Groot. Actually, hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! What? Can you come here for a sec? What do you want, Quill? I'm busy. Think you can see if this translator has Groot's language on it? It doesn't. You didn't even check. Don't need to. Cheap scut like that don't have rare language packages. And even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? 
Wait, do you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. So you actually speak Groot, then? You mean Talinizen? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. I am Groot. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. I am Groot. They didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> So you guys learned to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. So there's hope for us yet. I am Groot. You know, I didn't always have a translation implant. I mean, I was feeling Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. I am Groot. Man. Those first few years, do you know how hard it was to get by without having any idea what people were saying? Half the languages out here sound like white noise, weird birds, and messed up theremins. <laughs> I don't even want to know what Rocket actually sounds like. <laughs> TV did not prepare me for the realities of living in space, let me tell you. I'm cooked. Honestly, man? You're lucky you have Rocket. I mean, I know what it's like to be surrounded by people and have no one understand you, how lonely that can be. I'd have been lost. You must have been lost too, before Rocket and... and us. I am... I probably don't say this enough, but you really are an important part of the team. I can't imagine the Gardeners of the Galaxy without Groot. And who knows, if this thing does have your language in it and Rocket can download it somehow, or hack it, or... I don't know. <laughs> It'd be nice to finally talk to you. For real. Glad we had this little chat. I am Groot. Awesome. Cool. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. Of course, it had to be raining. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. That's sweet, but we both know you ain't got money to buy no umbrella. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle, it is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't vote so good. see what explosives have to do with our current position. Because I'd rather be blown to bits than stuck in this parking storm! Whoa! That is some really crazy lightning out there! Never seen anything like it! Meteorological suicide is what it is! Ah, the brisk air is charged with life. It is truly invigorating! Target storm, he suits your demeanor! <laughs> Ew! Ah. Ouch! Ugh. 
Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. I face more than enough hardship. Thank you very much. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. That's just a fancy word for walking. Come on, at least you won't be bored. Okay, guys, if we just keep our footing, it'll be a straight shot across. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. You must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on! Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitari traitor to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and disorder. Your reputation is why she tests us. Oh, the worst monstrous queen! <laughs> you know she can't control the weather, right? Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's not just some lady. Lady Hellbender's a known warrior. And a queen. And stinking rich. Exactly. She's a stinking rich warrior queen businesswoman. And she... Oh, that was way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. So we're still doing this. Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit, or we'll get blown right off. Good advice. Run! Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought. I thought you lived for danger. Yeah, keep words live. Resistance ship. Thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. Are you good? Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. It would be wary, Rodin. Eh, uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I'm scared of some little black! It's not alone. Get ready!
to get to the core! Dark, pointy death coming your way! Jelly's on the offensive! Crash so claw! Perish! Here looks like we are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. These sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. There's a trail going through the jungle. Try to find a way out. <clears throat> this husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk, seeing as we're about to climb it at all. Clearly not a husk. It is the hollowed husk of a bygone time. The turmoil of war rage stronger than the storms of this world. Peter, get moving! Drax is having an existential meltdown. All spells, shoot stuff. Words to live by. Having fun? Do you think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship? Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodents would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Now I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. I ain't seen one of these fly swatters in years, working or otherwise. It is not. That's what they call them. On account of they were real good at knocking Shikari's scouts out of the sky. There they are. Wing controls. You ever fly one of these things, Gamora? No doubt she shot them down. I fought the Shikari, same as you. Need your expert skills again, Rocket. What? All right, Rocket. That wing control panel's all yours. It still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Looking for trouble, assassin.
This jungle is majestic. Let me guess. Some kind of monster thing. Good guess. Well done. Any chance it doesn't know we're here? Nope. Only question is, which one of us it'll jump first? It's probably not gonna jump us. Mm-hmm. So, uh, beast tracks, Gamora. You're just messing with us, right? Nope. <laughs> Are you frightened, Rodan? I'm cautious. You try being this size. I gotta watch out for things that can eat me in one gulp. Ooh, mysterious. Found something, Quill? Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. Or hidden bodies. Oh, please don't let there be a space baron here. And hello, mystery goo. Just trying to stay ready. Monster eggs. Yay. Okay, so note to self. If it looks like a monster cave and smells like a monster cave, and you're on a monster planet... Jelly dudes, I took care of it. Blood stunt! I knew I should have come down earlier. Wait, so where are you? Hey, what's that? Where are you? No checking things out! <laughs> nice! Hidden passage! Everything okay in there? Are you dead, Peter Quill? Or merely severely wounded? Stop worrying! You got a real knack for sniffing out smelly caves, Quill. What can I say? I follow my nose. I ain't far, Quill. Scream really loud if you find another blob creature. You know I will. Hey, um, listen, while it's just the two of us. What's up? Uh, you're busy exploring. Just meet me in the main cave when you're done looking around. All right. Are you two coming? Yeah, just a sec. We're having a moment. A moment? <sighs> I'm exploring Quill, cause uh, I really need to talk to you. There's something um, personal I need to get off my chest. It's the kind of thing you don't want people, uh, uh, well, you, you know, right? What's going on? Look, I'm not sure about this whole selling group thing. Rocky, we've been over this. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, but what if it's not? What if something bad happens? Groot's the only real family I got, Will. He's the only one who's accepted me for me. You don't know what he's been through. The way he's been treated. Like some kind of thing to be studied and kept in a cage. Look, we're on our way to sell a monster. If you think there's no way Groot can... You're looking at this all wrong. You think she's gonna see what you see. A big scary tree that only says three words. Seems pretty accurate. If she looks on the inside and sees what I see, we're screwed. Groot ain't no monster, and I don't think he can even pretend to be. He ain't no good at scheming. All right, noted. But let's agree there are no perfect solutions here. I'll think about it, okay? That's all I ask, Will. Come on, the sooner we get the Lady Hellbender, the sooner we can focus on paying that stupid fine. Easy for you to say. You ain't the one getting auctioned out. Oh, yeah. 
We're fine. You worry too much. Still no sign of whatever made those claw marks? No, just some jelly dudes. Then it must be out on the hunt. You sure you want to get lost out here? Peter Quill, I have found the way forward. You sure, Drax? No. Good enough. back every time we have wanted we never go anywhere good point the depressions are deep this thing has got to weigh more than all of us put together. Drax, think this is a sign from Lady Hellbender? We are clearly not wanted on this planet. Good thing we have a plant guy to take care of a plant problem. He says plants aren't problems. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Her name is Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience with have to start showing us respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn it refers to. <laughs> what about her sister Nebula? Hmm. I forgot about the blue Harlot Spawn. Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a Harlot. Right, right. Th that, too. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow. Statue suggests civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. Where did you learn this clairvoyance assassin? Huh? You never learned to track? The Tathians do not chase our prey. We lure them and await the perfect moment to strike. That can take a while. Patience is a virtue of the hunter. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. What's the weirdest monster you guys have seen? I once saw a brood transformed regalian wearing a Clintar parasite. You could fit a lot of teeth into a head that big. You have no idea. That is not how Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our quill so special. Interesting. I don't lay eggs! Hmm. Looks more alien than the other ones. They are all alien. I know they're all alien. I mean, this one's freaky. Uh, dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle? I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! <laughs> He'll be fine, just curl up in a ball. What? Drax, throw him. No! Very well! Peter! It's okay, he'll land on his feet. Uh, I 
Guess that only applies to cats. You sons of dogs! Scut busting ass! I am not familiar with these words. Filthy grunt scum, but I think he's making them up. He's really pissed. You can run, you free bag and flarkle! At least he's not shooting at us. He missed on purpose, right? Order the beast to do its job. Rocket, come on, man! Cram it, fast face! Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by 5%. I want ten! Okay, deal! We'll take it out of Groot's cut. He doesn't understand money anyway. It is with this dash storm. The ground has the musty smell of afternoon. <laughs> hey, Storm Lord! We're catching our deaths over here! It's just a little rain rocket. What the flark are you doing? I found a cave! Stop spelunking and cross the scut flying bridge! <laughs> you think these statues are of the monster? Nut. He is not a nut of any kind. He is a conqueror. Maybe these were from the people she conquered. Hey! I found more ruins down here! Peter Quill, this is Lady Hellbender's toothpick. Drax, think you can topple this? Indeed. I may have angered them. Them? We're being hunted. Great. That's just great. Rise up, people. Incoming! These things are the best and deadly. Through the zoo with guns. 
enough of these inferior creatures. I yearn for monsters. Yeah, I'm feeling all turned around as well. so sure this is the way the statues here didn't walk into place they were carried carried by whom for what purpose i thought you were supposed to be the lady hellbender expert there was nothing in the pamphlet about statues maybe they weren't carried maybe some muscle head threw them over the ravine against their will <laughs> lady hellbender could no doubt accomplish such a feat all right mora pretty sure it's this way I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. She possesses flying creatures. Drax, some of your Lady Hellbender tidbits are questionable. You could say that again. More or less questionable than your flying skills, Peter Quill. He's got you there. Statues are not watching us. Do not be so sure. You see, Lady Hellbender has eyes everywhere. Of course they do. Gamora, mind cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. An old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships, or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? No. Nope. Are we even sure this is the right way? Yes. Now what the hold up? Here. No. We're just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Me and Groot are the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and plan B, okay? Anyone else feeling ready to move on? Roots up. Just go. No, you just go. go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. He does it. Uh, Groot says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. Yeah, I got it. Guys, anyone know what that is? Monster! Ah! 
shell! Its tail is ripping with ice! Best keep your Stand distance! Up, Stumpy's running away. That it's tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. Let us settle. To scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. Looks like a few cables are all that's standing between the wing and a makeshift bridge. We need something to get up to those cables, Peter. Do you see anything on the wreck that can help? The reactor thing there is pretty loose. And pretty gunked up. Ugh. Oh. What is taking so long? Are we doing something with that rusty hunk of metal or watching the weird plants grow? Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. No, the core weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. Dig in, Gamora. Here will work. Going ahead. You think any bodies are still in there? All mummified and stuff? See anything useful up there? I got eyes on this dumped up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. All right. Pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Huh. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Wouldn't surprise me. Maybe someone was trying to fix up the old bomber. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. Here you go. It's all yours. So, where are we? Waiting for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. We got it, Drax. Here's good. Done. When will the wing collapse so that we may exit this vexatious pit? This unit is tremendously heavy. What next, Peter Quill? I gotta say, I get some sick satisfaction from seeing this thing buried in the ground. Can you get up there now? It brings back memories! Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I am Groot. I help in spirit. <laughs> All right. Slippery wind pummel treetops, here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. Over there. As you wish. Perfect. Thanks, Drax. What purpose does it serve over here? You'll see, you'll see. Just be patient. No giant monster. All good. One thing is clear. 
We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. Took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's gotten bigger, that's for sure. Ha! It is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Thanks, Drax. What's Captain distracted up to now? If he calls us over, I'm done. Whoa, 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 guys! There's this totally sweet pile of crap on the ground. Looks like there's a way down here. Well, you gotta see this ship. Behold, Lady Hellbender's wrath. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh. Slimy. Uh, guys. You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam voice? <clears throat> you think? Some smack reach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, get fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! Like what? Slimy. Uh, guys! You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam voice? <clears throat> you think? Some smack reach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, get fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! Like what? Clark, Quill. Glasses, they I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoid tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, it pulls scut like this. Just, just, just leave the guns me, alone. Me, I, I, Quill, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic or sorcery. Guys, DNA cord in the mask. Some kind of morphing animal or sorcery. Here we go again. Oh, 
I'm up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star! Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. Be a planetoid. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? Mora, can you reach that cannon? It is more stubborn than expected. Ah, impossible. It will not stay in place. You couldn't just hold it for a while longer? You try holding it for a while longer. We've got to find a way to lock it in place. Obviously. Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out, trust me. Uh, I cannot... Oh, I did it! Impressive, King Quill. Now we gotta get the next one out. Drax, can you drag out that higher cannon? Impossible. It's too far from the ground. Group, any way you can bring that one down with vines or something? <laughs> he says his vines ain't strong enough to move them things. Rocket, any ideas on getting that top one out? Not from this angle, no. Group. Can you reach in there or something? What do you mean I should do it? Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, God. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Jatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what, Larkin? I'm blowing it up. What? Hang on. Think about all the booby traps and... Ha! Look at it go. He must have jump-started the thing. Rocky, you okay? Yeah, and dry now, too. Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Sure. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, so she's a giantess now. It is said that Lady Hellbender stands 50 heads tall. Doesn't tell you much. Depends whose head. Ever met a regalian? <laughs> yes. Their heads are ridiculous! Oh man! Another murder tentacle! Careful! It might be playing dead. Oh. 
Hey, you think they look like a bunch of tiny rockets trying to get out of the rain? got a sec. I know you volunteered for this, but I want you to understand that I don't really think you're a monster. I am brute. I mean, you're super tall and intimidating, and I think that's why this is gonna work, but I think you look freaking awesome. I am brute. <laughs> I guess the rest of us must look pretty weird to you, huh? I am brute. <laughs> Better not have been a comment about my hair. Drax, could you move a bit to the right? Why? Your big butt's a nice windshield. You may shelter yourself behind my buttocks. Where did you guys go? Uh, employee evaluation? Did you pass? That's confidential. Take his word for what? He says the soil here is like supercharged with plants. Fortress is this way, Peter Quill. I know, I'm just doing some exploring. Ain't we done enough of that already? I'm pretty sure exploring is code. It means he went the wrong way, but is too stubborn to admit it. In that case, Quill's the greatest explorer I ever met. Shouldn't we at least have a leash for our monster? There's usually some acting involved in this kind of infiltration. Everything okay, Peter? Yeah, just, you know, turning water into ice. Go off! I sure hope that buttless beast ain't running back to mommy to tell on us. I think I can see my house from here. What are you doing up there? Scout type stuff. Scouting? Looks like we, uh, need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. Excellent work, Peter. Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? I could throw. Touch me again and I paint these cliffs green. Okay, okay. No throwing and no shooting. There's got to be another way across. We'll just look around. Lady Hell's at that main desk. She would have laid over the ravine and let us walk across on her back. I was going to explain that she would have thrown the woodland creature without hesitation. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh, anybody else smell that? It really stinks back here. Yes, it smells putrid. Where is it coming from? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, not talking. <gasps> not even breathing. Yep. Definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. Huh? That is disturbingly fragrant. Uh, uh. I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as scud. It is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. 
I wonder what it tastes like. Peter. Why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really got to work on your taste. The cage. You get it? We need the cage. We go into that fortress with our, with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? Two more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast, let me dispose of it, because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. Scutplug's got complete control of the battlefield. Just look at him out there. You know what I see when I look at that battlefield? I see all of you. And I am mesmerized. Seriously. You make me want to fight 24 hours a day. Who's with me? Wu-Tox Field! Bring it on!
Slimy, stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flarking planet! You hate everything, Rocket. True, but especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Itchy fur is where I draw the line. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with you. Yeah, really great. Groot says we should check things out over here. Groot, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth the effort. For you, maybe. I love easy. That thing heavy, Quill? Surprisingly light. If we put our monster in it, will he shrink as well? Uh, no. It would compress anything inside to a mound of twitching gore. <laughs> Neat. Don't get any ideas. mean killing some of the wildlife. Good. They deserve it. <laughs> Deep freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the monster queen, how much are we asking for our monster? What do you mean, though? We're running a business here. We need to make a profit this time. So... What do we do if all don't go well with Lady H? We gonna fight a monster queen? You would be a formidable adversary indeed. Lady Hellbender isn't her adversary. If all goes well, she's gonna be our business partner. It's gonna go fine, right, Groot? Whoa, that is definitely in my yeah, top ten. Yeah, being Groot is exactly the problem. So, we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship, and we owe money to the cops. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If we even got that far, what if we'd been towing that thing when Novacor intercepted us? They would have taken our beast. See? This is working out. Sure, in a kind of bumpy, chaotic way, but we've still got a plan. Farther. It's a Flarkin Infinity Bridge, is what it is. Are uh, you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you oh, right. The cage. The point of even getting the Flarkin thing is looking like we need business. Group, 
You ready to squeeze in? I am. Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. Maybe we're going about this the wrong way. Rocker's the best escape artist I know. If things go south after the transaction, we're making the right choice. What? We voted on this. I don't feel right putting Groot in a cage. That's because it ain't right. Peter, She'll he... go for it. I think he's made his point. <laughs> Drat. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> She's got you there, Quill. Now shut up and start pulling. I am Groot. Will you stop worrying so much? You're gonna start growing knots again. Okay, here we go. someone else wants to pull this thing. We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. clicks. 13 whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Need to build up my calluses. Be warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. Oh, 
get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that. Something growing inside of you. Slowly taking over. Look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. <gasps> okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I liked your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's going to be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are going to be falling off. Mom. On. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Real tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly, PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. Okay, it's not that. It's it's opening night, and it's my birthday, you know? It was meant to be. Meant to be, huh? Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'm not a little kid, Ma. I walk home from school all the time. And yesterday I got you that black eye. I told you I, I was- I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. 
and we can open it together. Don't you dare touch that dial. Leave that alone. I love it. And look, it even has your little handprint on it. Boring. How are you getting to the movie? Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket, too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. You know, I was talking to Janie's mom the other day. Uh, here we go. She's a lovely girl, Peter. My pants didn't do much better than my eye in that fight. Promise me you'll be safe tonight, Peter. Hansel stings from catching mom's fastball. Wonder if she got me a new glove for my birthday. The cake looks super professional. You sure you didn't buy it? I left the gift on my bed. Oh, I thought you sit outside. Maybe I'll go get it, and you can finish up here instead. Shoot! Mom told me to put the laundry away two days ago. I'll do it first thing in the morning. Scout's honor. So what, now you're too old for gifts? What? No! Hey, Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Aw, oh, crap. I'm gonna miss Knight Rider. Guess I'll just have to wait for the rerun. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. Will Dan and Andy be spending the night? Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. I want you home right after the movie. Can't we stop by the arcade for a bit? Keep pushing your luck, mister, and you won't be going anywhere. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. Sky is clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. Dan says every UFO sighting is really a weather balloon or a bright star. But there's so many of them. Couldn't a few be real? Gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. Sure, it'd be nice to believe there are other worlds out there, but what are the odds? Pretty slim, I bet. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right?
at last!